Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Um, Robert, Can these stay-at-home orders it's that going. we're all under now can be quite unique when mm. home is, I guess, a thousand-acre zoo. I mean, we're looking at then and what you guys had to go through through that period. How strange was it? Oh, it was absolutely unbelievable. And that's the thing. It doesn't stop. All of the wildlife still needs our care and attention. Just like, you know, little Ember here. Amber needs all that care as well. She's one of our wildlife hospital patients. The hospital never closed. But Australia Zoo in lockdown was crazy because our whole team really stepped up. We had to work harder than ever to make sure that at the end of the day our animals were well cared for and that they had a good time. And we got through it. We're so happy to be open again, but it was a crazy, crazy time. Yeah, we're all so happy that you're open again. I mean, Terry, you said that you actually feared that you would have to break your promise to Steve uh, because the zoo was on the brink of collapse during lockdown. How bad did it get? Well, it just was really the fear of the unknown. So while our wildlife hospital was still open and operational with donations, the zoo had no one coming through the gate, and yet we still had hundreds of staff taking care of hundreds of animals. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like we were still open. The cafe still serving food to our staff and, and yet no money coming in. So I think people really stepped up around the world and we had online sales of, of gifts. We had adopt an animal programs, a number of different things happening to try to raise money when nobody was coming in. But yeah, you're right. We were closed 78 days, but there was no planning for it. We didn't know if it was gonna be 70 days or seven months or really what was gonna happen. We had walking through the zoo with no guests where it would usually be super busy, people cuddling koalas and it was just empty. But mum did an amazing job leading the team through it. I mean, she's the reason why we're still here. So yeah, we're, incredible. we're still Good here. Idea, we're in mom. a tidy amount of debt, but we're still we're here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I love your honesty. That's so good. Um, Bendy and Chandler had to then spend their honeymoon. You know, they had a small wedding. They had to spend their honeymoon with you guys at Australia Zoo. So, Robert, we see you torturing her right now with the ukulele. I mean, what was it like? Oh, torturing her? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I thought you did I well. think she loved it. I... And I, I hear you can play a pretty good ukulele. Dave, Listen, I'm so. down for a duet any time, but I don't have the white suit. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> well, well I, can, I can hook you up with one of those for sure. Did you have yes, any other Robert surprises available for available for honeymoons. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> we had, <laughs> times are really we, we tough. We had a lot of fun while Bindi and Chandler were, were having their honeymoon. It was hilarious. I'm yeah. sure they loved yeah, cleaning out animal enclosures and spending the honeymoon with their family. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Chandler was lucky. Honeymoon with your mother-in-law. Yeah. yeah, that's a party. <laughs> yeah, and you're locked in. Can't, can't escape. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Robert, you know, in, the, yep. <laughs> in the new season, Robert, the, um, you show, uh, we see that you actually get bitten by a snake. Let's oh. have a look. There's a good snake. When I first found this guy, there is no way I would... Oh. <laughs> There's no way I'd be putting him up near my face. All right, so I'll get this cleaned up a little bit. I got a little bit too close, and so he gave it a bite. They've got extremely sharp teeth. It's like little needles. You can see the size of his mouth too. So he must have gone top teeth there and bottom teeth there. Luckily he didn't get my eyeball. That's awesome. All right, there you go, mate. There you go. Oh, what do you I, say? I don't think I'd awesome. use the word I would, awesome to I would describe be crying that. on camera. <laughs> uh, well, you then posted this photo comparing oh. it to the time that your dad got bitten by a snake. Uh, did it hurt? Bloomin' oath it hurt, yeah. <laughs> um, it definitely did. Uh, but it was, it's, it's one of those things where you, you kind of, you get a little bit too close, it's totally your fault. It's not the snake's fault. I was really close to him. He didn't look the like my, didn't oh. like the look of, of my head, apparently, and <laughs> just gave me a little nip. But it, it happens, and really, the main thing is he got rescued, released, and, and he was happy. So it was just a, a little love bite to say thank you. Well, uh, I'm, look, I hope you don't get many more of those, but we love having you guys on. We're glad to hear you guys are okay up there. Great to see you both. Thanks. Yeah, and everyone head to you. We'll see you August you. 1st for the special. Yep, we'll see you then. That's right, yes, August 1st. thanks. Thank Season you. 3 of Crikey, It's the Irwins premieres August 1, 7.30 on the Animal Planet. Kids just love that show.